This screencast is made possible by I Show You, part of Shiny White Box. To view it, go to shinywhitebox.com. Hey guys, Tim here from Tech Stuff. Today I am going to be showing you the we already did three simulation, if you haven't seen that video, the dissolve effects. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, but I'll go ahead and do them fast. The effects are um, additive dissolve, cross dissolve, dip to color dissolve, dither dither dissolve, fade in, fade out dissolve, non additive dissolve, and ripple dissolve. Now these are the most used effects. The most used effect are these two. Well, the ones in bold. But additive dissolve is a great effect. I really like it. If you take a look at it, it's called additive dissolve. We'll go up here. It's like a, a color fading thing. And oops, I forgot to get rid of this audio for y'all because you're going to be like, Tim, I hate the audio. Anyway, you saw that. It, you want to see it again. Like a cool little color effect. You see a lot of shows. The next effect I'm going to show you is the cross dissolve. This is the most used effect ever on TV. Anywhere. Ever. It, see how it fades like that? That is the most used effect ever. No questions asked. Dip to color dissolve. Now, this is a pretty cool one, I have to say. It's like one of those fade in, fade out things where it goes in and goes out. Then there's dither dissolve, which requires a render. And yes, my computer's loud. I'm doing stuff in iMovie right now. That's off topic. Why am I talking about it? Anyway, here's the dip to dither dissolve. That one looks kind of cheesy to me. I, I really don't like this one. It looks cheesy. If you're going to do a great movie, that just look, it looks cheesy. No offense. If you like it, you can. I, I, this is my opinion. Fade in, fade out. You see, oops. You see these all the time. It's another one that's used in almost every TV show. Where it fades in and fades out. And again, like I said, you know, you can always go put it on here, double click on it, and then go up and change the way it looks, like making it that kind of triangle, changing the starting end. But we're not worrying about that. Non additive dissolve looks like this. Oops, sorry guys. That's another cool one. It looks like it's kind of the same though. Like, if you're to ask some guy on the street, does this look different? They'll be like, what? Yeah. Ripple dissolve requires a render. The ones that are bold do not. The ones that are bold do not require renders. If you're on here, like, well, how does that then? That one looks. That one looks cool. Look, look, right there. That looks. I like that one. Well, we're done with the dissolve ones. Thanks, and have a great day. While my computer is making a lot of noise. Email me text at gmail.com. I, I am name is ye funny and too. Thanks, and have a great day. Boo. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'm. I show you is a product of the company Shiny White Box. For more information, go to www.shinywhitebox.com.